Welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we went to Mount Battle and we 100%ed it. We went to ranked 100, the master, and we beat him. Fairly easy, too. We still had three Pokemon left after fighting him. Like, we did really good in fighting him. But now, we get to go on top of the tower and we get to see what we were supposed to look for. N Nascor? Is that him? I think that was the guy who wanted us to go up here. But, oh, look at this. Look how... I, I, I'm prepared. We're here to stop him. He's the bad guy. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. What kept you, Soup? I was worried that perhaps Gonzap had beaten you. The time has come for you to pay off some debts. We will have you battle as payment towards a huge loss you inflicted on us. I expect to... I, I, oh, wow. I expect to see... Spectacular battles of you. After all, you're here to entertain. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we're going to be fighting a bunch of trainers in this episode. Yay! Trainer after trainer after trainer. Ah, a big... A, a big... A, oh, a big crowd like this is a little intimidating. I don't want to be embarrassed here, so I'll battle to win. You think you're gonna beat us, Jomas? Jomez? Jomez? Might be Jomez. But. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! Level 40 was so high level compared to these people! My god! Okay, well, this is gonna be a nice, clean swept. And also. Yes, every trainer here has a shadow Pokemon. So we're just gonna do our Master Ball trick like this. Just, we're just gonna catch it. We're just gonna catch it and we're gonna fire, you know, switch that around so we don't lose that Master Ball because I would cry. And then we just use Thunderbolt on the Zigzagoon. Or, or sorry, Zangoose. I don't know what was going through my head. And just like that, we beat her without any problems. What, that was supposed to happen? Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. You know, things go bad and sour all the time. You know, I'm sorry, lady. Yeah, bye. Get out of here. Give us the next trainer. This is just a boss rush. We're just facing off trainer after trainer after trainer after trainer after trainer. It's crazy. My turn. Well, go ahead, man. What do you have? If I'm not mistaken, he has a grass Pokemon. Absol Mighty. No, he did not have the grass Pokemon. Okay. Never mind. All you need to know with this, though, however, it's not that bad of a Pokemon. It really isn't. Like, no joke, I would actually recommend this. An Absol. Now, he may not be the greatest Pokemon or great dark type or all that, but he's not, he's not bad. I, I would actually recommend using him. Or her in this case, but again, late game doesn't really. I can't really do that, can I? By the way, I'm thinking about doing another pool for the uh, Pokemon Ultra, Vi Ultra Violet series. Now, I I need you guys' opinion on this. What I'm thinking is I use a starter. Okay, one of the starters. You know, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. There is a secret, however, where you can get a diff. You can catch your own starter. But it's certain Pokemon, like Larvitar, uh, Trapinch, Ralt. It's that, it, it's that kind of stuff. It's like a little Safari Zone. But I want, I want your guys' opinion. Would you rather have me catch my own starter, or would you rather me use one of the original starters, like Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle? So, I am, I am gonna do a poll when this uploads, and I would, I would really appreciate if you guys would actually use it because that the last poll was a really was really helpful because now I know what game you guys would want that you guys want me to play sorry a lot I'm talking a lot I'm not good at this but if you guys are per, if you guys really want that uh yeah I would really appreciate it though so that's what I want to talk about so thank you and by the way the shadow Pokemon is a houndoom I cannot say this anymore i said it all the way through pokemon gold houndoom is a phenomenal pokemon it is so good 
You get it very early. It's a fire dark type. Like, what more do you possibly want? In fact, Hound Hour is actually a starter in that Pokemon game, Ultraviolet. So, I'm just saying, if you guys really want Hound Hour, he's in the game and he's phenomenal. Now look at this guy thinking he's all that. Just strike. Or st what was that? What's that? Stro striking? Striking across the field? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm the last battler. I shall. Sh I shall show you exactly why I was chosen. Well, you have more than three Pokemon. <laughs> that that would help. Tropius and Vileplume. Mm. Mm. That's actually not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um. Well. For starters, I am going to have to switch, because Oni is not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> and Tropius is a Shadow Pokemon. Tropius is also a phenomenal Pokemon. That thing is incredible. And I may or may not have used one in my first playthrough. It is so good. Like, when you catch this thing, it's so good, man. The Grass Flying is already a decent combo. And he also he also has the same thing as... Uh, uh -huh, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. But he has the same ability as Jump Bluff, where it has the uh, Chlorophyll ability, where it doubles its speed in Sunlight. So he's already good in there. Plus, it's a Grass type. So teach that thing Solar Beam, and you can shred through things. And not to mention, he's pretty bulky. He may not have the best uh, special attack. But he's not slow either, because of the chlorophyll. It's he's such a good Pokemon. Like I would recommend using one. It's very good if you need a flying type. Even if you don't want to use him in battle, he also is really good for an HM slave. Because he can learn Rock Smash, Fly. He can learn Strength, Cut. Like he learns a lot of good stuff. So yeah, if you need like an HM slave and like Pokemon. Ruby and Sapphire or Emerald, 100% pick him. Yeah, you weren't too hard, my guy. Get out of here. Show me your boss. Come on, I know you want to show me. I know you do. Oh my god. Oh my god, this music's horrifying. Bravo, bravo. Well done. Why not become a Cypher show battle trainer? Would you even consider it? I'll vouch that you will become top star in no time. I wouldn't have minded making that pro proposition, but I'm afraid I'm not that big-hearted. I will destroy you in battle right now. You will know the humiliation of total domination before this crowd. Oh, we get to fight NASCAR! We get to fight him. Oh, look how cool he looks. He looks fucking cool. Now we're getting to the hard Pokemon. Walrein and Blaziken. Off the bat. Oh, and there's like no music. This is eerie. Yeah, it's, it's dead silent. There's no music. Man, I, you know, I might put some, my, I might put my own music in here. Just for background noise. If Walrein could not survive it, or survive the Thunderbolt, there's no fucking way that Blaziken survives. I I don't believe it. I he survived? Oh no, don't pick Amph oh thank god. Uh Oni is Oni's a strong one here. He's the one that's gonna be sweeping. So I, I needed him to do that. Blaziken, yeah, Blaziken got one shot, and that's not bad, not bad. Uh Penguin, thank you, Oni. Oh, good XP though. Gardevoir! Yikes, that's another strong Pokemon. Uh, Thunderbolt on the Gardevoir, and I... Please hit. Thank you, thank you, Penguin. Oh, easy. Yeah, take that bite out of it. That poor bird. Exotu's out of here, no problem. So far, his team's pretty interesting. I do like it. Even though I kind of forgot what his first two Pokemon were. <laughs> I completely forgot what they were. Blaziken and Walrein, that's what it was. Pretty good, 
right there. Garnivore is also good. And then Exatu? Damn it. Oh, and a Dust Clops? Damn! What else do you have? Like, his team is so good. Thunderbolt. This takes out the Dust Clops. Then we can see his Shadow Pokemon. Because obviously he should have one. He's the fucking. He's the leader. Oh, uh, Dust Clops is so good, though. He's. Honestly? He's better than Dust, Dust Nor. Surprisingly, he is. Metagross is a Shadow Pokemon. This is the sh this is the Metagross we've been hyped up for. He is by far he's the hardest Pokemon to catch in Pokemon. I'm pretty sure he has like he doesn't even have a like an actual full number of a catch rate. He has like a fraction. I'm pretty sure he is the hardest Pokemon to catch. So. That is something interesting that you should know. Metagross, man, is so good. A Steel Psychic. The only problem with him, though, you get him so late in games. Probably, you even get it before, like, or after the main story. It's crazy. I mean, that's. The, I guess that makes sense for pseudo legendaries, but like, you should at least be able to like find them early. Like, po like Pokemon Platinum, you could find Gar you, not Garnivore. You could find Garchomp so early. And he makes a good team member at just being the bite. And by the time you get, like, near the end of the game, you have a Garchomp. Like, it's... That's what they should do. Like, they should make some of those pseudos, like, early game. Ugh! It's not over, Soup. Come on, we shall battle. Enough embarrassing yourself, Nascor. Who was that? Sir, I, I beg your pardon? What's going on, Nascor apolog... Uh What's going on, Nascor apologizing? Isn't he supposed to be the boss? He's not the boss! <laughs> hey, that, that figure looks familiar. Oh, it's the fucking mayor! Oh my god, the guy that we saw for one episode! <laughs> he was in one episode! He was... This fucking fat bastard is the main boss of Team Cypher. Or at least for this department or whatever, because of the sequel. But like, S car or S Cade, Cade. We see him once. Like they don't ever like show him over and over. Like that would have been a bigger plot twist, but they just don't ever show him. My my, that certainly was a battle worth seeing. I must be honest with you. I never imagined that you'd get this far. Hmm, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, what are you doing here? Oh dear me, do you fail to understand still? You are such an innocent child. At time, I am the uh, failable mayor of Fennec. And at others, I am the secret boss of a crime syndicate cipher. I am Evek, and I shall rule the world. Oh, and look how- Oh, look how evil he looks! I do like that design, though. I don't understand why he's floating, though. He's got, like, magic powers. How dare you meddle in our affairs so thoroughly. The Shadow Pokemon plan, we can risk, we can risk, well, res what the fuck is that word? Resuffocate? Oh, we can resuffocate from the start, but you two will never be forgiven. I will destroy you utterly so you may never again rise against me. Oh boy! This is the true final boss! Evek! My god, he is... No joke, probably the hardest boss to fight in this game. Not in, not only in this game, but all of Pokemon. He has so many different strategies, it's crazy. But his most dangerous is his Slow King. Or Slack King. Slack King is Slow King. He has a combo like that. It's crazy. It's crazy dangerous. So what he would do is he will use Slow King the ability swap for his sl his uh, Slack King, and that Slack King becomes the most powerful Pokemon in the universe. And I got the Paralyze. See, look, it already gets, it already has Earthquake. In fact, it might actually kill Oni. That's how strong this thing is. Oh, oh well, he took out his Scizor, <laughs> so I mean that helps. But he's done bring out Slow uh, the Slow King, and Oni survives. Oh my God. That's all I needed. Why? The screen stopped spinning. I thought the fucking game crashed. My heart dropped. Salamance. Oh my god. Another dangerous Pokemon. 
Yeah, it lowers our attack, which is pretty scary. Thunderbolt. I'm hoping this does good damage against it. It does. That actually does really good damage. So Slack King won't attack this turn. It, it won't attack because it's, it has t it is really bad ability. So I think I should... I'm going to paralyze it. Dragon's Breath. I'm Hopefully this paralyzes the Salamence too. Like, that would be amazing. Like, come on, paralyze. Paralyze. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Dude, I have... He has landed that so many times. I'm... I'm, I'm amazed. I'm I'm so happy that he does that. Oh my god, his team has no chance now. I, I actually don't think he can win. The sheer fact is that... Penguins is the GOAT. He's the greatest addition to the team that I have ever had. It's phenomenal. And then we got Diesel out here. Does Diesel... Can, can Diesel survive an earthquake? I'm gonna make... I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if it works. I'm gonna use a sunny day. Oh, he... Okay, he wasted a turn to use an X attack. That's perfectly fine. I'm actually fine with that. Yeah, he just wasted his battle item. His Salamence dies this turn. And then... Slack King can't attack, can it? Because he skipped... Well, I guess he would still be able to. But Salamence is down. I'm not scared of that Slack King no more. I'm not. Like, honestly, what, what is there to be afraid of? That thing is kind of useless now. But Champ! Mmm. Machamp could be dangerous, though. Okay. So we use Dragon Breath on the Machamp, and then we use Flamethrower on the Sly King. Sly King gets out of here because of the stab on Flamethrower. And, yeah, th there's no way it survives. So Sly King's down. That's great. We're, I'm actually... I'm surprised I'm doing very well in this fight. This is a really hard boss fight. I, I actually cannot believe I'm doing this well. Okay, there's his slow king. I'm surprised he didn't start off with that. I, I'm, if he would have started off with that, I think I would have actually lost. Okay, it, it used bulk up. Okay, it wasted a turn. It's going to boost his attack, but I'm not too worried about that. It only goes up once, and its defense goes up. Which, my Pokemon aren't using physical attacks on him. So, I'm not too scared of that. Um, let's do Crunch, and then let's do Hidden Power. Hmm. Flamethrower. I was thinking about attacking that Slow King, but I'm not... I think I can kill this Machamp. Critical hit, it was a fucking death anyways. I have Hidden Power Electric on, uh, Diesel. But I, I just don't want to risk it. Because if I don't kill it with this turn, then I I risking one shot, and I don't want it, I don't want that to happen. And he has a Tyranitar, which is a shadow Pokemon. He has a shadow Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a good Pokemon. <laughs> I love Tyranitar. Another pseudo legendary, by the way, that you can get off the bat in a critical hit crunch. Oh my. This is a gold mine right now. And since that's his shadow Pokemon, is that his last these are his last two. And then we win. I am I am I right about that? Oh Sandstream, yeah. Luckily, only one of them is weak to that. Yep, this is his last two. I'm just gonna catch it. Okay, that this was it. This was easy. I'm actually surprised it was this easy. I, man, I, w <laughs> I was actually really surprised. Usually I struggle hard on this boss fight, but I guess with the extra levels I had for my Pokemon, he became a pretty easy fight. Like, I only used three Pokemon this whole fight. I even had to use my whole team. That is amazing. Oh, and he used a full restore on his Slow King. He has, he does, he can't do nothing. Bam. And just like that, we took down Team Cypher. That is so good. Ah, uh, I'm actually very proud of myself for this boss fight. I, I cannot believe I did this well. well yeah, Evek is done. He is no longer a threat. No, even my ultimate Pokemon. I mean, Metagross is better.
it's <laughs> Metacross is actually just better than Tyranitar. But like, you know. Halt! Stop where you where are you going? There's no getting away this time. Oh hey! Hey Duke, how you doing? Cypher finished the Shadow Pokemon plans ends now. Even e Ooh. Egon is here too? <sighs> Kalen, are you alright? Hey, Pikachu! We're get everyone's here! We're just all here to beat the shit out of this guy. Blast you! Don't you forget what you've done, Soup. It won't even end this way next time. I will ruin you next time. What? It won't end this way next time. I will ruin you next time. I promise you that. What is it? Is that a helicopter? No! He's trying to escape with the helicopter! Haha! <laughs> Let us meet again. Our bid to take over the world using Shadow Pokemon hasn't ended yet. Oh! And that's a huge ass fireball. Your plan, I think, just ended. <laughs> that was it. What? You and your co you you and your counties are under arrest. Oh! Oh, he's freaking out over there. <laughs> hey, well, what's that? Hey, it's home, my boy. It's the legendary Pokemon. It's a Ho-Oh. Is it? Is it really a Ho-Oh? That's incredible. It must have been keeping an eye on your heroic from the skies above. You obviously earned its support. Of course, it wouldn't also never allow criminals to get off scot-free. Not when there's guilty, or when the guilty of the outrage, like creating shadow Pokemon. Oh wow! So Ho was trying, was watching over us. Soup. I guess it's finally over. <laughs> We face a lot of challenges, but thanks to you, Soup, everything has been resolved. Soup, thank you. You were strong, you answered the call, and you were cool. Damn straight. Look at that hole, it was so close. So true. This is the first time I've ever seen one up close. Kalen and Soup, the Ho-Oh is blessing you for your victory. Such a perfect outcome. I don't even know what the fuck... What voice I gave him. What was that shadow? Do you guys see that huge shadow above them? Or it might have just been me, but. Ho oh! Oh, he's so beautiful! Very nice. And there's the end credits Pokemon Coliseum! Directed by Ushiana. And I can't skip this. So, thank you all for watching this Pokemon playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Now, there's also bonus episodes for this game if you want that. There's, you can go back to the, the first area, which was uh, Team Snagum's base. We can go there, and there's some shadow Pokemon there. There's a Smeargle, there's a, an Ursaring, I think. But there's also another thing. If you mount battle in the menu screen, you can actually get a free Ho-Oh for completing it. It's really hard, but you can get one. I think it's one per game. I'm pretty sure. One per game. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this series, and I hope you all enjoyed it as well. In our next adventure, we're going to be playing some other games. Maybe Pokemon Ultraviolet. Again, I need you guys to please send in your requests on what starter I should use. But I also have another game I will be playing. So, but in the meantime, this was Pokemon Coliseum, and I hope you all enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next game. Later.